we hand over better Nigeria than I inherited, Buhari boasts. Wow, <laughs> it says one that shall never cease to end. President Mohamed Buhari and Miss Obvious Failures on Thursday vowed that he will hand over a better Nigeria than the one he inherited from his successor, Good Luck Jonathan, and one will be asking, you know, oneself, how? With this insecurity, you know, revenging the country? Are we talking about the hardship Nigerians are going through? How is he going to manipulate this? We don't understand, but let's hear him out. Okay. Wari spoke in an address at the palace of Alahaji Muhammadu Isa II, the Emir of Jamars in the Kamfancha area of Kaduna State. This was according to a statement signed by his spokesman, Gaba Shew, where he also underlined his resolve to consolidate the country's political system to improve the quality of the people's lives because the people matters. Wari said, we are doing our efforts to consolidate the system for the good of the people because, because they matter. He also talked about the use of the security agents such as police and the military in dealing with security situations while appealing to Nigerians to develop confidence in civil authority to build a system free of cares. Nobody should be allowed to raise an arm of thoughts to force himself on the people. This, he added, must be very clear. The president gave assurance of the determination of his administration to hand over a better Nigeria than the one he inherited and urged Nigerians to be fair in their assignments of assessment of what his government had achieved, especially on the campaign premises he made ahead of the 2015 elections. The president earlier inaugurated three road projects in Kamfanchara the headquarters states under the Governor Nasser Erufai's Urban Renewal Program. Earlier, the state governor said a total of 21 roads were constructed in Kanfranchan under the first phrase of the Kaduna State Urban Renewal Program. Okay. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Talk with fart and don't think the whole country is filled with illiterates. Even if you live it worse or better it makes no difference because your government can never be accountable to the people that is the structure of our governing system i don't know how you are going to start this i don't know how it's going to do this because if you call 100 persons right now 99 persons will tell you that you are failed that is the gospel truth do you know why when talking about um Gulag Jonathan's regime, though that time we have Boko Haram too, but it's not like this. The Boko Haram have not grown to this level. There was nothing like banditry, nothing like Fulani has men, nothing like unknown gunmen. How much was bag of rice then? We bought bag of rice for 8,000 Naira, but today, I am even talking about a uh, foreign rice. But today, we are buying Nigerian made rice for 30,000 and thereabouts. You cannot buy granite toy. I remember then we were buying granite oil for 2,500, 2,000 for four liters. I'm talking of good, good oil. But now, you buy oil for uh, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. So, is it the goods, the, the better Nigeria you are going to hand over? In fact, I even pity the next president, the person when we want to take over from uh, President Muhammad Buhari. I pity the person. Yes, I pity the person. All this borrow, 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 borrow from here and there. Is that the better Nigeria is going to hand over? No, <laughs> Wahala. Make we see how it will do. But before then, let's quickly hear what Nigerians who have reacted to this have to say. Someone said, how? 
where and when i love that how where and when how an how our economy is bastardized her education is zero her sector is nothing to talk about at least i forget you have nothing to talk about because every now and then you travel abroad for medical care for the slightest emirate because you know the truth the true situation of our system we were better off in 2015 in terms of security so what legacy do you intend living apart from backlog of death death now I understand the reason why we were where we are today. Why we don't even know where why we don't even know there are so much insecurities in Nigeria. Inflation, hunger, no job, that Nigerians are facing more challenges in this is present administration. Now wow. Okay, please keep quiet and finish your tenor. God will reward everyone. Sometimes I doubt if God still exists, but I can't make such a remark. He knows the best, but left for us. This man deserve. Hmm, okay, I don't want to say that. That is harsh. It is not this Nigeria I am inside right now. Or is it another one, Nigeria, under this Nigeria? You have nothing to show us. We are all entitled to our definition of better, future imposi impossible, things very popular saying by most nigerians even when majority of nigerians feel differently i don't understand nigeria or niger tell me with the current state of situations in nigeria how would that happen or how we we how are you gonna do that how are we dreaming that god please have mercy on us i said amen to that he does not know how he met nigeria yes how then will he know that he's living it better than he met it? What indices is the measuring? He is measuring his better. Hmm. Guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take concerning this? Let's hear from you. Hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel if you're here for the first time, please. Thank you very much. Bye for now.